Greetings everyone and thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. I'm Don Valiant and this is the news from Gyeonggi Province this week. Gyeonggi Province recently announced plans to make a second round of disaster basic income payments of 100,000 Korean won to each provincial resident so as to ease economic difficulties during the COVID-19 pandemic. Unlike the first round of payments made last year, an expanded range of foreigners and Koreans with foreign nationalities will also receive payments this time, with the number of recipients totaling approximately 14 million. The payment period will be determined through consideration of pandemic and quarantine circumstances as advised by the Democratic Party. Amid growing social concern with the road safety of children, following the revision of the Road Traffic Act Enforcement Ordinance in March last year, Gyeonggi Province investigated the management of child protection zone facilities and discovered that 73.9% need improvement. The province also identified the failure to levy up to 3.4 billion Korean won in fines for illegal parking in child protection zones. A Buddhist temple in Pochon City of Gyeonggi Province has been experiencing difficulties due to the growing number of street cats for which it has been caring. To help resolve this issue, in cooperation with local residents, Gyeonggi Province has set up three street cat feeding stations around the temple so as to supply clean water and food to the cats. A Kyungi Pet Adoption Center, which will serve as a hub for the culture of adopting abandoned animals, has opened and embarked on full-scale operations in Suwon City. This center will provide free adoption services for abandoned animals and operate various educational programs to promote an appropriate pet culture. This year, Gyeonggi Province plans to launch a labor law education program for workers and management in the province. Provided to vulnerable workers and small business operators in a contactless format, this program aims to promote an understanding of worker value while also ensuring that workers are accorded their rights and receive fair compensation. Through this program, the province seeks to reduce the number of disputes between workers and management, which may arise due to ignorance about related laws, and to help establish sound labor management relations. This year, Gyeonggi Province will continue its Gyeonggi Youth Military Accident Insurance Support Program, which the province introduced for the first time among area-wide autonomies of Korea in 2018. From this year, insurance payments for surgeries due to injuries or diseases suffered during military service will be increased from the current 50,000 Korean won to 200,000 Korean won per case. In addition, insurance payments of up to 20 million Korean won will be made for injuries, post-injury disorders, or deaths caused by explosions, fires, or structural failures. Insurance claims can be made via the dedicated call center. Gyeonggi Province has developed a mobile Civil Defense Corps training call-up system. Members of the Civil Defense Corps can now receive annual training notices via mobile phones. This means that administration costs of approximately 3 billion Korean won for the notification of more than 930,000 recipients via registered mail will be saved each year. This new system will also benefit recipients through the quick and accurate delivery of notices. After the training of related officials, the province plans to begin the operation of the system from March. Thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. We look forward to seeing you again next week.